In this video, I'm going to show you how to release sinus congestion in 30 seconds. Stay tuned. Hey everyone, Dr. Rowe coming to you from Spine Care in St. Joseph, Michigan. In this video, we're going to go over easy exercises that can give both quick and long-lasting relief for sinus congestion and also associated symptoms such as ear pressure and a stuffy nose. As a note, all of the exercises work just a little bit differently. To get the best results, go through them all and use what gives you the most relief. As a bonus, all of the exercises can be done at home and may give instant relief even within 30 seconds. So with that being said, let's get started. So let's begin with two 30 second exercises that can give instant nasal and sinus congestion relief. This first one is what I like to call the original vaping. What I'm going to be using is Vicks VapoRub. If you've never used it before, it can be a literal lifesaver if you have a stuffy nose. So an interesting fact about VapoRub, it actually doesn't help clear sinuses or a stuffy nose. Instead, the vapors that contain menthol and camphor will trick your brain into making it think that it can breathe easier. I always thought that was kind of interesting. So just take the VapoRub right here and just breathe in just over and over again for about five deep breaths through your nose. And at that point, you should already start to feel the effects where you're just being able to breathe a little bit easier. So we're going to take this one to the next level now by doing a manual massage into the sinuses to help open them up. So take two fingers on both sides right here and start off right at the top of the nose, the corner of the eye. You want to apply firm pressure with this one right here. And if you have long fingernails, definitely avoid poking yourself in the eye or anything like that. But you're just going to apply firm pressure and keep that pressure and now sweep down on the side of the nose going towards your nostrils. Once you hit your nostrils, just sweep out across the cheek just like this. You want to do this one over and over again for about 30 seconds. So it should take you about five to six repetitions. It should take you about five seconds with each sweep. If you would like, what you can do is target different areas too. So start off really high and then sweep across like this. On the next repetition, go down just a little bit further. And then just keep doing this over and over again until you get all the way towards the bottom. You may find that one certain spot just works a little bit better for you. If that's the case, throw more repetitions in. And I would recommend having a tissue ready for this one because if you have a stuffy nose, or that helps unclog those sinuses. I mean, it can be like Niagara Falls coming down, so don't be caught off guard with that one. So the second one I was pretty skeptical about, it's an acupressure point on your hand right here that will help not only clear up sinuses, but really give quick headache, especially sinus and tension headache relief. That's what I found out. Uh, pretty quickly. It works really well for me whenever I have a tension headache. So for this one, you're going to take your hand right here and then just press your thumb towards your index finger. As you do this, you're going to see a mound that forms over your hand. That's going to be our contact point. So you're going to take your other thumb and you're going to place it right over that mound. As you press in there, you really want to focus on pressing into the index finger, this long bone right here, that metacarpal. So you'll find it pretty quickly because as you clamp down into that spot, for most people, it's going to be extremely tender, so be forewarned. You want to apply enough pressure in there where you're going to feel it, but it's not causing agony. So at that point, you're going to maintain that pressure and then open your fingers like this, including bringing your thumb away, and just fan them out over and over again for about 30 seconds. If you do have a headache, you may notice that this will give you instant relief. That was my experience in the past. Anytime I have a tension headache, this is one of the first things I do. I'm not fully sure how it works, but it does. You can also tilt your head side to side while doing this exercise. It will help increase circulation. So if you get better results, definitely do that. But afterwards, see how you feel. If it's helping out, you can throw in another repetition or two. In this part, we're going to focus on directly relieving pressure and congestion in the frontal and maxillary sinuses. Let's start with the frontal sinus first. This exercise, what we're going to focus on is using vibration to break everything up, including all that gunk, and hopefully get some good drainage in the sinus and nasal cavity. So what I'm going to do is start off by taking one thumb, just like this, and placing it right at the top of my nose, right in the corner of my eye socket. Again, if you have long nails, please use caution. So apply enough pressure in there where it's going to be firm but not causing any discomfort. From here, you're going to take your tongue and put it to the roof of your mouth and maintain 
maintain that position. For demonstrative purposes, I'm not going to do it right away, but I will show it here in just a second. Once you're in that position, what you're going to do is gently shake your thumb from side to side to cause that vibration. So it kind of looks just like this. But as you do this, what you're going to notice is kind of a tickle that forms over the sinuses and also the nasal cavity, which will definitely help break things up. So again, you might want to have a tissue ready in case you get Niagara Falls coming down. I like to do this for about 15 to 20 seconds, maintaining that pressure. And afterwards, just see how you feel. If it feels like it's helping but needs a little bit more, you can always throw in another repetition or two. But this is how we can take it to the next level by using both of our thumbs. So again, we're going to take our tongue and press it to the roof of our mouth. But this time around, we're going to take our thumbs, go right towards the top of the nose and press right into the corner of the eye socket. And then we're going to do that same type of movement. It just hits it a little bit differently and you may find that you get better results. With this one too, I would recommend exploring this whole area over the frontal sinuses. So kind of go up towards your eyebrows like this and repeat pretty much the whole length of them. Go a little bit above two and then towards the forehead, the center of the forehead. You'll probably find that one certain spot might have a lot of pressure over it. At that point, keep repeating this over and over again until you finally feel that release or you get no more improvement. So from here, we're going to move downwards towards the maxillary sinuses. And for this one, you don't need to put your tongue towards the roof of your mouth. We're going to take two fingers on both hands right here and start right at the top of the nose. You're going to apply pressure in there, firm pressure, and you're going to sweep off to the side just like this. Should take you about three to five seconds to do this. What you're going to do is a couple repetitions and then you're going to move down slightly and then repeat the whole length of the nose going from the top working towards the cheek right here and then towards the nostrils. Again, you're going to notice that one certain spot might have a lot of pressure or congestion over it and you want to keep repeating that over and over again until it finally breaks up. So afterwards, what we want to focus on next is improving lymph flow to make sure that all of that broken up congestion is filtered out safely and hopefully will boost our immune system. So for this one, we're going to take our hand right here, the side on the pinky side, side right here, the nice meaty portion of our palm, and we're going to put it right off to the side, kind of below the ear, off to the side of the jaw. Apply pressure in there, and you're going to sweep down like this. As you get down towards the throat, open your fingers to create a rake, and then rake across your throat, going towards the collarbones, just like this, right towards the chest. Again, it should take you about five seconds. I like to do this one nice and slowly for about 10 repetitions. Again, this is going to increase circulation and hopefully boost the immune system at this point. In this part, we're going to focus on a big symptom of sinus congestion, which is a buildup of pressure in our ears. This includes the inner ears and the eustachian tubes. I'm going to go over two different methods that can give instant relief, even within 30 seconds. And the great part is you can do them throughout the day. The first one is called the earlobe pull. What I'm going to do is take my thumb and my index finger and clamp down on my earlobe. If you have piercings, please avoid those as much as you can. The key with this exercise is not not to use a lot of force. So we're not trying to rip our earlobe off. Instead, it's all about speed. The movement is a blend of pulling off to the side and up at the same time. So it kind of looks just like this. Watch how I do this. So I'm going to do quick motions. I'm going to do this for about 15 times. And afterwards, see how you feel. If there's still some pressure left in there, you can repeat this as many times as you like. But if there is a lot of pressure in your ear, you can get a sudden pop and it usually feels really, really good. It's perfect to do after a long flight and you can do this on both sides. The next one is going to be a vacuum technique. And this one I really like also. So let's start off by just getting some more circulation uh, around our ears. So take two fingers on both hands and place them right off to the side of the jaw, right off to the corner of the ear. Apply pressure in there and do a light circular massage. While you do this, take your tongue, press it to the roof of your mouth and slowly open and close your mouth about five to 10 times. So this is how we're going to take this one to the next level and do our vacuum technique. Take your hands, make cups with them, and press them right into your ears and press in until you feel that vacuum start to form. You're going to hold this for a second and then you're going to quickly release it, causing that vacuum.
And I like to do that for about five to 10 times. Again, if you have a lot of pressure in your ears, you can get a sudden pop and get some very good relief. Hopefully that helps you. If the exercise has helped, please support the channel by giving this video a like and maybe subscribing too. If you have any comments or questions, please leave them below. I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Thanks for watching.